What's good, YouTube? We are back with another video. Alright, so that was a new YouTube video um, intro. Very minimalistic, very um, demure, very thoughtful, very hurry up about the situation. So, this is how to pack and how LaShawn Noel packs and why I'd rather pack than to have bottom surgery. We'll talk about that later on in the video. I just said that just to say it, but I don't think I'd rather pack to have than to have bottom surgery. So how do I pack? There are multiple methods. Um, run that back. What is packing? Packing is a um, gender affirming um, method for FTM um, and I'll just say my non-binary family, correct me if anybody is non-binary and um, is mask, um, correct me if I say this wrong, go ahead and do it in the comments. But um, my people's, the FTMs, the um, non-binary mask or trans mask and non-binary family, um, we use it um, just to create that euphoria of whatever it may be for that individual, whether it's to see a print, to get rid of that empty pocket space, um, but mainly for me. I do it because I don't like the empty pocket space and that just, I don't know how that happened. I think ever since I had my top surgery, that's just when I started like, mm -mm, something ain't adding up. Um, and packing has eased some of that, um, especially with being in public. So, um, how to pack. We understand what packing is. It's a gender affirming technique done with a sock, a silicone packer. Um, there's other brands and different kinds of packers. And um, there are like pre-made packing underwear. You know, the trunks. But um, yeah, so how Lashana will packs. I will show y'all four different kinds of briefs. Two of them are very similar. One is different and the other one is different. So there are four different kinds. The first one, uh, the first pair, I got these from like H&M. They're literally like this, like just plain, plain. No, no pocket, no inner nothing. Like it's just straight. Should be in with the wind. All right. But the thing about these is that they're very snug, but can get loose. the The problem that I have with that is that the packer has no stability. When I say no stability, it moves all around. So the packer will flip, turn, and tumble in something like this, right? But then, but then we have another pair. Jack Archer. I got these from a promo. These are very fitting, but you notice the difference between the other pair and these is that it has this pocket, right? This pocket worked miracles. Of course, for my guys, my FTM and my non-binary um, mask individuals, we wasn't born with a third, a third finger, like, I don't know what y'all wanna call it, but being <laughs> serious, we wasn't born with a third. So what that's normally used for is what where I place the packer. 
So I would place a packer in that in that um, that little pocket, right? And I'm gonna show y'all how we do that real quick. So we have the packer, right? This is the one that I use. Um, I got it from Trans Tape, so it looks like this or whatever. And how it would work is this shaft. You can either do it from the inside or the outside, but I just prefer to do it from the outside. But I just place it in there. It's not gonna sit by itself. So, yeah, hold on. Yeah, so the way I do it, when I have the briefs on, I put it in here, through here, once the briefs are on, and then it sits once you're fully, you know, briefed up. So that's how that goes with those pair. And then another example in another pair of briefs, we're going to switch it up. Paxi's, y'all. Paxi's has a pocket, an actual pocket. You see how it separates from the briefs? There's an actual place to hold. And what I would do then again is put the packer in the briefs. Hold on, because I did not practice this. <laughs> yeah, this feel like the bees and the birds dog. The birds and the bees, whatever the hell it's called. And then you place that button that it comes with. This button right here. Hold on, let's focus up. That button right there. You tie it. You tie it in there. And then it's secure. And then you got your packer inside of your briefs, just like that. So the thing about um, Paxi's is that not only does it have like this pocket, I love the fact that they have, Paxi's is a pre-packed boxer brand that you can remove the foam packer. This is another packer that you can use. Um, but I prefer not to use it just because it's an unnatural bulge appearance. But this is another form of a packer. But that's why I love Paxi so much because the fitting of the briefs, it comes with this just in case you don't own a packer and you can put another packer inside of Paxi. So those were three different kinds of briefs. Now I got one more. I don't know if any guys in New York will be watching this. <laughs> but when I was staying in New York, I loved this one place called CC's. Um, they had these kind of briefs. I think I believe I got, I got them for like a dollar each. Like a dollar each. And I probably have like 20 of these just because it was a dollar each. But they have the same pocket the same pocket where you can place the packer in and um you'll be perfectly fine and that's um those are the briefs i normally wear in my get ready with me video if i'm not wearing paxis or anything else but um those are very stable they're breathable um the packer doesn't move if it moves it's not like some fly all over the place type of situation but um Let's see, as far as like the different kinds of packers, the ones that I've tried are born wear. I actually have that one on. Um, it gives a very natural bulge. I'll show y'all since I'm wearing gray sweats. Um, and this is also why I don't wear gray sweats unless, um, well yeah, that's another thing. I don't wear gray sweats unless I'm packing because of that empty space talk. I don't I don't like empty space. 
and gray. Gray and empty space that don't add up for me. So check this out. This is what Paxi's does for me. Not Paxi's, um, Born Wear. So, very natural, very natural, you know. Um, not too much. And yeah, so that's the Born Wear um, packer. And then the one I showed y'all before was Trans Tape. Um, they have different tones, shades, and um, sizes of rolls. And I'm only pausing like that because I almost forgot to tell you that Born, um, Born Wear works with Trans Tape in a sense of the tape situation. But not only that, um, you can tape to pack. So, yeah, you don't have to have a born wear packer. You can have a trans tape packer. And that's why I kept freezing. Because I gotta go grab the tape to show y'all that situation. So hold on. All right, so we're back. I found the product, I found the product, I found the product. So this is um, one of many materials um, needed to pack with trans tape. Let me focus this. So this is one. What it is, they're the little rings that you put the packer inside of. Um, and then what else? You have the tape itself. So in order to pack with trans tape, you need a packer, you need the tape, and you need the ring. You need the ring in these. So, not only that, the one thing that I absolutely love about trans tape, and it's not because um, of just them assisting with my top surgery in the sense of providing the tape and helping me fundraise, um, it's it's been very, very, very um, euphoric to me during the time of just like deciding on what I wanted to do with myself. Um, it's very important to take your time with whatever it is that you're doing. Um, and speaking of just like packing and stuff, I've been going back and forth mentally on wanting to have bottom surgery or not. And truth be told, like, when I first packed with trans tape, um, it was freeing to know that I could wear whatever pair of grease I wanted to without having to like put a packer inside of um, like the briefs and doing all them extra steps. So it's like, it kind of gave me a glimpse of what bottom surgery would be like, but if I was to ever have bottom surgery, honestly speaking, the science needs to be up to par. Um, I don't like how it looks right now. So it's a no for me. It's a no for me because the science is not there yet. And no, no, it's not there yet. I've seen a couple surgeons work it's amazing, it's amazing how surgery can change change and make things look how they look. But I need a Picasso and I need the science and medicine to be together. But <laughs> for now, I will stick with the putting the packer in the briefs or just binding downstairs <laughs> um not binding because binding is compressing um i'll pack downstairs with <laughs> with um the trans state product but i hope this video helps honestly speaking because um a, a lot of guys um especially me for example i didn't have people doing stuff like this for me who looked like me um respectfully um there are a lot of Caucasian trans men doing stuff like this. And truth be told, I'd like to see 
more men like me doing this. So hopefully I'm being transparent enough for y'all to just have um, some sort of insight without lies or exaggeration. But I'll see y'all next time. We gonna see if y'all can keep up with Sean.